Hello, welcome to another video. Today I have a short unboxing of these uh, pair of Alec Edmonds that I just got. And I'll be making initial observations on that in comparison to some other shoes that I have. So I just got these um, shoes on eBay. So I wanted to show you um, what kind of value you can get when you buy a set of new new shoes from from eBay. So I paid uh, $99, um, actually $100 for the shoes, um, including shipping. Um, it was free shipping. And $10 for taxes. So all told, it was $110. Uh, you can see that it comes in the original box. It didn't have the uh, dust bag. I don't know if they kept that. Here is the pair. Oh, it has. So it's a pair of um, suede Oxfords. It looks very close to the Numoc and the McAllister. I don't know exactly what model it is because it doesn't say what model it is. And if you can say that, the lighting here is not very good. Uh, it says it's model 4998, um, but I don't know what, what model that is. I looked over the stitching. The stitching is uh, very even. And the soles too. This one came with the um, with the day night soles, which I was very happy with. That I do not have um, a pair of shoes with day night. I have another pair of shoes that I'll show you that has imitation or something that looks very close to day night, but is not. So I wanted to compare. I don't know what last this is. Um, the reason why I think this is not a McAllister or a Numok is because those are made on the 65 last. That is the last on this shoe, which is the 5th Avenue. And the 65 last has a more rounded uh, toe. It's a little bit wider. Um, I, I don't know what what this area here is, is called, this area of the vamp, the widest area. But it's a little bit wider here. This one is a little bit narrower. <clears throat> so the shoe fits a little bit tighter here, uh, but you feel like you have a little bit more um, wiggle room on your toes. They're both size 9D, so they're the same size, but different shape. The shape of this shoe actually is very very similar and it fits me uh, very similar to these vernas which are um, a last 108 and you can see how this one is also compared to the fifth avenue it's a more pointy toe elongated toe these two fit very similar i actually have not worn these ones out I just wore it, uh, put it on to see how it fit. It fits very well. Um, like I said, just, just a little bit um, tight here. Um, but it's, it's just the first, the first wear. And when I say tight, I don't mean that they're tight as in too small. It's just that it just fits a little different than the 65 last. Looking at the bottom, um, there is no channel for the stitching. So that's uh, something that I'm considering putting some sort of protection for the, um, for the stitching because that's the first thing that's going to wear out. I'm seeing that on this other pair of shoes that I have. These ones are the 1960s um, is the model. This one is made by uh, Carlos Santana. 
and it's also a rubber sole. I've had these for about a year and they look very similar, but this one has the uh, um, Carlos uh, branding. The stitching is beginning to wear on the toe. This is from a year. It, it's worn very, worn very well. You can see the use marks. I probably have only used these maybe once a month. It hasn't had much wear, but you can begin to see how it's going to wear here. So I'm, I'm thinking of putting some sort of protection on the toe. And I think the same thing is going to happen on this one because this one doesn't have a channel either. One thing to note on this one is also the lining is a half lining. Let me see if I can move this light so you can see this better. So it has the insole, but then this lining is only on the back half. Trying them on, uh, they do feel a little bit more, these are a little bit more casual, not formal like the other um, shoes, if I compare to, to the Vernon. These ones have more padding. It feels like you can really feel the, the cork inside. I could not feel any cork on this. So I don't know if it's that I need to break it in or if they wanted a lower profile and uh, there is no cork uh, padding. Um, I'm going to have to wear them to, to determine that. But just from trying them on, it just felt like it didn't have that um, cork padding that most of the Allen Edmonds uh, have. Aside from that, the only other observation that I have, um, looking at um, quality control issues, I, I really see looking at all the stitching is, is even. The, the edge of the sole is, is very even. The only thing that I have observed is on the back of the right shoe, this edge was cut a little bit taller. I think you can see that on the, on the picture, how this left side is just a little bit taller. So they cut that just a little bit too long the material on that side. But that is the only uh, comment that I would have on these shoes. So I am very happy. Um, I think they're a great value. And that is a very minor thing. So at the time of this video, there were still four of these models um, on eBay for $100. So if you're a 9D and you're looking for a pair of Alec Edmonds, this is a good value. And that is all that I have for this uh, review. Um, if you have any comments, uh, please leave them below. If you like the video, click, um, click the thumbs up. Thanks.